Tell us about Galt's Gulch. It is the community that is de depicted in Ayn Rand's Atlas Shrugged. That's right, and that's where we got the moniker from. And what's really been happening for the last decade or so, and something that I recognized, is that the U.S. is becoming more and more oppressive. There's uh, more taxes, more regulation. And just like in the book Atlas Shrugged, a lot of people are. are finally having enough of it and they're just shrugging out and we're seeing many Americans just yesterday that they just announced that uh, the most Americans ever are leaving this year uh, actually renouncing their citizenship and so what we've done is we've identified a country in Chile which actually is very uh, quite libertarian minded actually the president are, uh, is a, a believer in Ayn Rand and the uh, central banks uh, really believes in uh, the Chicago School of Economics and so we're inviting a lot of people to come down there. Why is Bitcoin so popular in the libertarian community? Well, I think if you think about libertarians, they, won't, they, they don't, don't, don't want any government involvement in their life whatsoever, where they, most of them don't want any. I'm an anarcho-capitalist. I don't want any government whatsoever. So when you think about that, you definitely don't want to be using a government currency, a fiat currency from a, a central bank, which is run by governments. And uh, so obviously things like gold and silver have always been a mainstay for libertarians, but this is the first uh, currency that's popped up recently that is really attracting the attention of libertarians. What do advocates of a digital currency need to do to broaden its appeal to make it more mainstream? I really don't think they have to do too much except for just keep doing what they're doing. Bitcoin is growing by leaps and bounds right now. We saw, we sh uh, saw Shopify.com is now using Bitcoin. They have tens of thousands of marketplaces on the internet. Uh, Subway restaurants, some of them have started accepting Bitcoin. If you go to some of these countries that have capital controls like Argentina, you can uh, rent a hotel, rent a car with yeah. Bitcoin. So it, it's, it's just growing by leaps and bounds all, all on its own. But as you know, there has been some controversy. The New York State Superintendent of Financial Services, Benjamin Lawson, he announced yesterday that he's going to hold public hearings to determine if a bit license should be issued for businesses for digital currency transactions. But in that same letter, he noted, quote, the cloak of anonymity provided by virtual currencies has helped support dangerous criminal activity, end quote. What's the difference between secrecy and anonymity? Well, first of all, I want to say that Bitcoin is the exact same as the dollar. They say, oh, you might use it for money laundering or for drug trade. Well, that's what the dollar is used for today. Uh, secondly, uh, money laundering shouldn't be illegal. There should be no taxes. And as well, all drugs should be legal. So the, the government creates all these problems, and then they say they have to regulate it, and we have to see what every transaction is, which is a crazy idea, and Bitcoin provides anonymity.